the monthly payment. Some people have the monthly payments on their loans serviced by a bank, credit union, or escrow company. Be advised, however, that banks, credit unions, and escrow companies do not assist nor help you in the collection of your payments. This is totally up to you on how to set this up. If the borrower gets behind or defaults with his or her payments, this becomes your problem. The escrow company simply provides a bookkeeping function for your mortgage. If this is way over your head and just too complicated, then we might suggest relinquishing your mortgage note to a mortgage note investor. A mortgage note investor can free you up from these headaches and you can cash out of your mortgage instead of dealing with collecting monthly trust deed or mortgage payments. Price and Terms of Payment Amortization schedules can be obtained from banks, real estate offices, and title companies for a small charge. You will want to have this for your records to see exactly how much cash flow you will generate from the entirety of the mortgage note. You might have sold the property for $150,000 and after 20 years of payments with interest, the total payments might come to $250,000 depending on the interest rate and the number of monthly payments. You need to be knowledgeable about this when talking to an amortization specialist about your mortgage, trust deed, or land contract. You definitely don't want to just throw something together yourself without knowing about amortization schedules. This is not like collecting rent. This is a mortgage. And if you mess things up from the beginning, then you could be losing a lot of money in the end. Payment due date. Do not let the borrower get into the habit of making payments later than the due date or grace period. Be polite, but insist on promptness. You are not best friends with the borrower. This is a business. When you bought a house, the service company does not want to wait around for their money. And if you are consistently late, then that will reflect on your credit report as a slow payer. Speaking of credit report, you will also need to get set up with the credit bureaus as a creditor so that you can report monthly payment status to the borrower's credit report to Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. This can become tiresome after a while, but it needs to be done. The borrower is expecting this to happen. All finance purchases are reported. This can be upsetting if the borrower checks their credit report only to find out that you have not reported their payments. Also, if you are reporting late payments and the borrower signs up with a credit restoration company, and start sending you letters to have those items removed or else you could be sued $500 for each derogatory item in a local court of their choosing. This is the information age and people are smarter about their credit these days. Balloon payment. It is a good idea to notify the borrower by letter at least four to six months before the balloon is due. This gives the borrower plenty of time to find a way to finance or otherwise pay that last large payment. For example, if the balloon payment is $10,000 after 60 payments and the borrower does not have it, then you will be entering a new situation with this mortgage. You might want to work out a refinance deal with them to solve the situation like a loan modification or worst case scenario, start the foreclosure process. That is not fun. Insurance. Regarding insurance, you should 1. Verify the policy is insured for the amount that represents at least the full value of the amount still owed to you. The borrower should want to insure the property for the full value. 2. Be sure you are listed as the mortgagee, trustee, or first contract holder on the policy. This way you will be entitled to the proceeds from any insurance claim ahead of the borrower. If you are listed this way on the policy, you should get renewal notices each year from the insurance company. You should also get a notice of cancellation if the borrower fails to keep the policy current. Finally, if you ever do get a cancellation notice or for any reason find the property uninsured or underinsured, immediately contact the borrower regarding this breach and purchase your own coverage until the problem is rectified. You do not want to misstep on the insurance issue. If something accidentally happens to the property and there is no insurance, then not only will the borrower be screwed, but you too will suffer a loss. If the property burns down to the ground with no insurance, then the borrower is now homeless and you are sitting on a worthless mortgage note. You would have lost everything financially on this deal. Most note holders do not pay attention to this 
and this is a very dangerous game to play. Most note holders usually sell their mortgage notes to an investor for cash to relieve themselves of this burden. Taxes Regarding taxes, you can determine if the taxes are current by calling the county office where the property is located. We recommend doing this on an annual basis. The borrower's failure to keep current on taxes is a breach of contract and an indication he or she may not be able to afford the property, even if the monthly payments are current. There is nothing more discouraging than foreclosing on a property only to discover that the first expense you have is several thousand dollars of unpaid back taxes. Paying taxes at the end of the year can be very expensive for most homeowners due to the fact that most homeowners like to travel and enjoy the holidays during that time of the year. If you don't keep track of this, we can surely guarantee that real estate investors are lurking and spying on your property and they can swoop in and purchase the property right from under the buyer. And now you will be dealing with a new owner that is trying to either wholesale, flip, or rent out the property. This can get real messy, especially when all these new names are popping up and you don't know who is living in the property. Foreclosure Default If legal action is required, you, the seller, have the right to initiate foreclosure proceedings. Your best bet is to find an attorney with experience in the area of real estate foreclosure. Declaring a loan to be in default and starting the foreclosure process is a serious matter and should be handled by an attorney familiar with the laws of the state in which the property is located. The biggest mistake made by sellers in this area is 1. Trying to take matters into their own hands. 2. Delaying the exercise of their rights. Begin to think in terms of foreclosure when the borrower is one month behind, not three or four months. Keep records of all written and spoken conversations with the borrower, including dates, times, and what was discussed. You will never know how and when these records will come in handy until you need them. Because if you don't have them, it could be too late. Having a seller finance mortgage is a big headache if you have a problem borrower. Cross your fingers that your situation works out for the best. If not, there are alternative solutions and you can get out of it and still come out ahead. You can sell your mortgage note to an investor for cash today while they take over your situation. Folks, these are some reasons to sell your mortgage note today or land trust or trustee. You don't want to get stuck holding the bag or dealing with any of these problems right here. So what you want to do, you want to come to getcashforyourmortgagenote.com and get a quote. Before you get a quote, check out our note buying process, what we buy, and for more information, uh, if you're still planning on holding on to your note, check out our note owner's manual. Every note owner needs to have a manual, a guideline book. You just don't you don't want to just wing it and just start collecting payments, you know, you know, all willy nilly. You don't know what you're doing. You need a note owner's manual, and we also have some frequent, frequently asked questions that you might have. But once again, go to getcashforyourmortgagenote.com, review the website, look at all the information, and get a quote today.